When someone has this autonomia, there's a misfiring so that they're not balancing each other out. The sympathetic fight or flight is overfiring and there is an inability of the parasympathetic, the calm and digest to come up to balance it out. That balance is off. That is definitely one of the underlying trigger causes of POTS or dysautonomias, there's a nervous system dysregulation with which they are not balancing each other out. What's causing this nervous system dysregulation, right? We should be asking that question instead. But instead, what we're doing here is we send people with POTS, postural orthostatic heart, fast heart rate syndrome to who? Who do we send? Uh, How many of you with POTS or don't have the diagnosis have been sent to the cardiologist? And the problem is it's not a heart problem. Okay, the word dysautonomia actually describes it better. It's more of an imbalance of the nervous system, which it is not a cardiologist heart problem. And people, the best that happens is, oh, yes, you qualify to have the name of the diagnosis. Congratulations, you have POTS or you have dysautonomia. But there's but no real solutions. I'm going to have one ask of you. If you enjoyed and you learned something from this Help me share and raise awareness around this because it is ridiculous just the amount of people that have long haul, that have POTS, dysautonomia, or chronic uh, illness of any kind that are being medically gaslit.